This is kind of the off season for earnings, but you know what? There's some hot stocks reporting this week, so I thought we'd take a look at some of the best charts of the week. And some of them have just a tremendous track record too. So you got the hot chart plus the great track record. Let's find out who it is. Our first stock this week is a home builder, believe it or not, Lennar. They've had no misses in the five years, so they got a great track record. This chart is kind of crazy, but it does look like the shares are on the verge of possibly breaking out, but we need to get past that $53 range there to actually see a breakout here. But the home builders have been a hot area. Uh, mortgage rates still down low and demand is high. So this is one I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eye on to see kind of what's happening with the builders. Our next stock is probably the hottest one of the week. I've been getting asked about this on StockTwits and it's Adobe. You just have the three misses there. You can barely see the third one way back in 2012 there. Um, so it's got a great track record. Shares were hitting the new highs. A Little bit of a pullback now that tech stocks have pulled back a little bit, but uh, you gotta like the track record. So if you're betting on the beat here, you got a good record to go off of. Our third company is also, um, you know, pretty hot here too, Red Hat. They've been hitting the new highs. The chart isn't as pretty as Adobe, but they only have the one miss back in 2012. This is kind of a cloud play too. So um, shares have pulled back a little bit again, along with all the other tech stocks. But if I'm playing the beat and the miss, this is one you should be watching. Then number four, we're gonna dial it back to a different area here, Corn Ferry, KFY is their ticker. You might not know them as well as some of the others, but they're in the executive search and um, you know the employment side. They have a great track record too, with just the two misses in the five years. Shares got a little bit of weak there in 2016, but um, we've seen the bounce back on the general optimism about the economy and you know unemployment and the job market is still strong. So uh, this is one to keep an eye on if you're wondering kind of what's happening out there on the job area. And then finally, we're gonna have uh, the fifth stock here, Steelcase, another one you might not be watching as much. Uh, this is a, the office furniture, so it is a good barometer of kind of what's happening out there in the economy. They have four misses, so not quite as good a track record as some of, some of the others, and they're coming off a miss. So I kind of put this one up to remind people that just because a stock does have a good track record and the company has been beating doesn't mean they're always going to do it. Of course, the past performance is no guarantee of the future. So a steel case coming off that miss, uh, you can see from the other times it came off the miss, it did beat the next quarter. So I'm going to be watching this one to kind of see, you know, what they do and what they're saying about what's happening on the corporate side with the furniture. So these are just uh, a few that are leading off the week. There's gonna be some more actually that are also hot this week. So I'm gonna be covering those. And if you're interested in the options on any of these, I'm sure Dave Bartosiak will be covering the options, especially on that hot Adobe um, you know, earnings report later this week. You can check all that out on Zach's Live Trader. And that's Dave over with the options trade on Zach's Live Trader. And I'll be back with more earnings this week.